Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite fall lipsticks. I did one of those videos last year, which I will be linking so you can watch it because that one I went in detail. Like I included like 30 plus lipsticks. So if you want more recommendations, I highly recommend you check that one out. And I also just filmed my fall must have. So if you're curious in what I'm wearing on my face or clothing or just more tidbits like that, I highly recommend you check that one too. But today we're going to be talking about my favorite fall lipsticks. So I try to keep it a little bit more under control this year, but it's always hard to just talk about a few lip products. But I included a few nudes, a few berries, and then a few deep vampy shades like I'm wearing right now. Let's start with the nudes. NYX came out with those velvet matte lipstick. I actually just did a lip swatch video on the matte and velvet matte lipsticks. If you want to see it, I will include the clips of me wearing these colors because I tried to film this video once and I was not recording. And I don't think my lips can take more lip swatches. <laughs> but there's two great nudes in that range that I especially wanted to mention. The first one is Soft Femme. And it's just a little bit darker than those uh, mauve nude that I usually like to wear. I think like MAC Brave, for example. So this one is a pink. It's a medium pink. It's a little bit purple in there. I think it's super wearable. These lipsticks are matte. They are kind of hard to apply. I think like MAC uh, Retro Matte Finishes. But then once they're on your lips, they're comfortable and they last really well throughout the day. They're not overly drying. So totally recommend this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. It actually reminds me a lot of MAC uh, Mer. Mer? Mer? I don't know how you pronounce it. If I compare it, you can see this is the MAC one. It's a bit brownier, but they're still fairly similar if you want something that is more affordable. NYX Soft Fun. And the other color that I liked a lot from that range was Honeymoon. And this one is one of those like... It's a nude, but like almost grayish, depending on your skin tone, obviously an undertone. But on me, it's a really wearable nude with just a little bit of a like lilac in it. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this. This was a surprise. I was wondering if I was going to find this a little too light, but turns out it's absolutely perfect. So if you are looking for a great nude, like everyday color that isn't one of those brown new nudes, because I feel when you think about fall, you think like brown new darker nudes. But this one is just a hint of purple. It's a little bit different and I absolutely adore it. Last proper nude is from the Essence Matte 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 range. And this one is the color 02. And these are fantastic and they're so affordable. So if you're on a budget, you need to grab one of those lipsticks or a couple. They only have a few shades, but the colors that they do have are really stunning. The formula is so opaque and comfortable. They do have a uh, like fruity scent. I can't pinpoint exactly what it smells like, but this is what the color looks like. Is absolutely stunning for fall or like all year round this video. But I just thought I would give it a shout out because I feel like I don't hear anyone mention the matte 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 lipsticks and they're really really great and like just a couple dollars so. So you know how I mentioned that people like to go more with brownier nudes which I still think they're good. Think like Kat Von D at Lolita but on me it's a bit too brown or even uh, MAC Velvet Teddy. It's a bit too brown for my taste. What I do like to do is to go with it like a dirty peach color like the Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick in Double Dare, which this is the type of color, depending on your skin tone and undertone, is gonna look different on pretty much everyone, but I still think it's worth it. It looks different on everyone, but it looks good on everyone, which I'm fine with. And this color only kind of looks like a dirty peach, as you can see. It's so stunning. You can't go wrong with this formula. They last so well throughout the lips. They're comfortable, they're transfer proof. They have a ridiculous range of color. It's kind of hard to just choose favorites in that range of color. Although they do have like exorcism, which is so pretty, which I did include in my favorite fall lipstick last year. So again, check that out. You need to get exorcism and this one, Nibble Dare. I feel again, another color I hear a lot of people mention, but I'm always raving about it because it's so beautiful. Let's go with berries because again, I feel like deep vampy shades or brown new nudes get a lot of love on YouTube, but berries, I never hear people mention them. And this color I feel like is underrated because it's one of the most beautiful berry lipstick ever. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Craft. And this is actually a color I was wearing in my fall must-have video. And again, must-have for sure. It's super opaque. The formula of the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick is good for the like newer colors. I feel like when they first came out, they were a little bit uh, hit and miss. But now they're fully opaque. They don't crack. They last really well throughout the day. They're pretty much transfer proof. I think this color is absolutely stunning. And again, everyone needs this one. It's just so stunning and nobody talks about it. And I don't understand why, because 
this is a must have for sure. The other berry that I have is from Maybelline. This one is the uh, Loaded Bold Lipsticks and this is the color Midnight Merlot, which it looks super scary when you look at it like this, but it's not as pigmented on your lips as in the bullet, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> and the Loaded Bold are really bold, obviously, colors, but they're pretty creamy, a little creamier and moisturizing than the cream mattes, which I also like a lot. But as you can see, this color is gorgeous. If you like dark berry, like purpley lipstick, I would definitely recommend this color. It's gorgeous and you do stain your lips. And if you feel like this is like too intense, you can always just tap it and just blend it a little bit and make it a little bit more wearable. But another favorites for sure, obviously, all the lipsticks here are favorites, but I just needed to mention it. It's just too pretty. A newer one in my collection is Captive by MAC. And it's kind of in between the berries I just mentioned and the nudes I just mentioned. I feel like it's like the best of both worlds. It's a satin finish too, which satin finish are like one of my favorite finish from MAC because they're between a cream sheen and a matte. They're moisturizing like a cream sheen and they last as long as the matte. They're just, I mean, if that's not the best thing ever, I don't know what is. And look at it. How gorgeous is it? Like it's just a bit darker than the other ones. So if you're like more of a nude wearer and you want to go towards like more berry and deep shades but you're super intimidated, Captive would be a great way to just start. Now let's go on with like full dark vampy shades because false is just asking for those lipsticks. So the one I'm currently wearing is Diva and I think this is what most people think about when you think about that perfect burgundy fall lipstick. It's just a classic. Sin is really... Oh no. Oh no, you didn't. Can you hear this? The neighbor just started cutting his grass. There's no more grass. It's so cold here already. I am mad. I would like to point out that it's actually dark outside. Like he's cutting his grass in the dark. Who does that? So this is basically what a fall lipstick should look like. It's just absolutely stunning. It has a hint of berry in it too. And it's just absolutely stunning. You can't go wrong with it. It's pretty similar to Sim, which I also really like. I wasn't planning on including it, but might as well. Just to give you an idea, like Sim is definitely darker and Saber Twin Rats, so it's like super drying, but these are basically the classic dark vampy shades you could think of. The drugstore version to this would be the Maybelline Cream Matte Lipstick in Divine Wine. It's just such a classic. It's a hint more brownier than berry compared to Diva, but I mean, it's super creamy, super comfortable. They last incredibly long. I actually did a video back in the day comparing the Creamy Matte to the NARS Audacious lipsticks, which are so amazing, but they last just as well. So if you were looking for like the drugstore version, I would highly recommend the Creamy Matte Lipstick by Maybelline. I feel like I'm always dreaming about these. And this color is exactly what fall is made of. Like you can see it's similar to Diva, but a hint more brownier instead of berry. And this would suit pretty much anyone. I know a lot of people like to say that, oh, this lipstick would look good on everyone and it's never true. But I feel like this is the type of color that would suit like 99% of people. And if you don't think it suits you, it's probably because you just don't like the color on you. But most people would probably like it, you know what I mean? So gorgeous color, highly recommend that one. A favorite for sure. I realized I forgot the next lipstick at my friend's place. I'm gonna be including a picture and I'm just gonna show a different color that I also love from that range and it's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. This color per se is Pioneer but the one I wanted to talk about is Voyager Voyager, and it's a like deeper uh, burgundy shade because obviously that's where I'm at right now but this one is also a favorite. This one looks great if you're looking for the perfect red but the formula per se is fantastic. These are liquid lipsticks that will not dry out your lips. With that said, it is a little sticky when you first apply it because of the moisture that is still left on your lips, but this lasts a whole day. I was wearing it at one point uh, for a full day and I was like snapshotting it. And you could see it like for 12 hours still be on my lips and looking exactly the same. You will have trouble actually removing this. I've been receiving a lot of comments on my lip swatch video telling me that. But honestly, you just need a waterproof makeup remover. I'm using the Garnier uh, waterproof one and it works fine. But just a makeup wipe will not be enough. They do have a few uh, dark vampy shades in that range. So if you were looking for a really great long wearing liquid lipstick from the drugstore, I would recommend the Maybelline ones. Last one is from the Sephora Cream Lip Stain range. I feel like this range needs more people raving about it. I feel like finally uh, YouTube is talking about these, but not enough. They're so fantastic. And this color per se is crimson something. There's no uh, name on it. It's number 43. It's a really dark vampy shade. If you want it darker than the other ones that I just mentioned and you just want to go full on deep scary shade, this is it. Like, it's just stunning. 
And again, these last incredibly long on your lips. They're super affordable too for something that is sold at Sephora. It's like $12, $16. So really more affordable than anything else that is there. But really fantastic. You can't go wrong with them. I absolutely love them. And again, something I just loved, did the lip swatch video and there's like 40 shades. So you will find something in that range for sure. If you're looking for one, I would run this one or even zero one, always red, which I'm always raving about. But sticking to fall, this color, or even, uh, is it four, 14? Marvelous Mauve, 13. 13, 14, Marvelous Mauve is also a must have if you want something that is a mauve shade. But yeah, I want to talk about this one and this one I would recommend for sure. So that's it guys, those are all the fall lipstick I wanted to rave about today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be linking on the screen the fall must have video that I've done recently. So if you want to uh, hear more about my uh, favorite sexy man candle, for example, I highly recommend you check that out. And I will be linking in the video too, so if you want to check more. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.